Hello and welcome back to my journey from normal to Norway and welcome to the third in my series of people who inspire me. Um, this one I was especially excited to talk about given the name <laughs> of this YouTube channel um, and the meaning and inspiration behind it um, being Norway and how Norway first came um, really into my life, <laughs> um, into my brain, um, into my heart was through, um, a TV show that I've talked about before on here, Skam, which is Norwegian for shame, uh, which was created by Yuli Omdum, who I'm excited to talk about today. Um, as I've talked about before with that show, it, it came about at a really pivotal moment in my life when, um, just everything was falling apart every area of my life was exploding. Nothing looked how I thought it would at that age. Um, I was, you know, um, losing people and relationships and communities and, um, truths that I had believed and just all sorts of things, um, all at the same time. Um, safety, comfort, home, uh, all of it <laughs> was just kind of, um, yeah, exploding and, and, um, falling away from me. And, um, then through such a strange way, through a recommended video on YouTube based, based on other things I'd watched and, um, you know, this trail led me, uh, to this show that had already been on for, um, a year or longer than a year and, um, man, it just really swept me away. And, um, it was all due to the incredible, um, care and talent and work of Yuli. And, um, that's why I wanted to talk about her. She's one of, um, and the big inspirations for me. And certainly, um, this YouTube channel would not exist, um, it probably wouldn't exist and it definitely would not exist um, looking how it does without her and her um, being instrumental in bringing um, Norway into my life. Um, and she's just, I think, a couple or a few years older than I am. Um, so she's right about my age and she was beginning this incredible work um, that became, you know, popular globally, affected many, many people all over the world, um, when she was younger than I am currently. And so it's just incredible to me to think about, um, the amount of, um, research ahead of time and thought and care and talent and time she put in to this show. I mean, she created it, she wrote it, directed it, all of it. It was a very small crew working on, um, at least I think compared to, you know, some of like the major, um, TV shows in the U S like a small budget and, um, gosh, just the attention to detail, everything that she took into account, um, things that were happening currently in the world were being addressed as the show was being made. And, um, you know, the characters were so real and relatable and, um, it just, it made me feel, um, seen and understood. And it also made me see and understand myself better, so much better than I did before. And I think to have more, um, compassion for myself and, and grace with myself, um, it just really, the format of the show was also genius. As I said before, it just sucked me right in and, um, yeah, I'm just so, so grateful for, um, her and her work and her attention to detail. And, um, I mean, just really how it's, it was just the start of this amazing journey for me that I'm still on, that I, I don't know exactly where it's going or how it will conclude if it ever will, <laughs> or if this is just, you know, my life now, a, a new normal is what I wanted to say. Um, which is great. <laughs> I didn't think about this beforehand, given the title of, uh, from normal to Norway, that, um, Norway led me to a new normal. 
I feel like I should have realized that sooner. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it, I mean, it led to me, um, learning the language, which I still am. Um, I want to try to find a class. Um, I mean, cause I learned through this free app on my phone, which taught me words and phrases, but I got through everything they had to teach me. And, um, I'm nowhere near fluent. I don't know the, the rules of the language. I also listened to a podcast that was helpful called, um, practicing Norwegian, but it, you know, again, it's like, like I would need to re-listen to those podcast episodes again and again and again, which maybe I need to do, but I think it would be good for me to, um, get in some kind of class, um, to, to learn the ins and outs and the rules of the language. It's a difficult time to be thinking about that right now with the pandemic and, um, you know, still being at home and everything. Um, again, I'm in LA and that's the state of things. I'm still at home working from home, spending all of my time here. So the thought of, um, any kind of live class is out of the question. And so I would need to think about some kind of online class, but, um, I'll look into that. So, I mean, Yuli was the beginning of something that led me to learning this whole other language. And I didn't think that languages were a thing that I was good at. Um, I was never able to really pick up a second language. I took years and years of Spanish, but, um, it wasn't something that I was ever really passionate about. I didn't really put the work in. It didn't really stick with me. I know some, but, um, you know, not very much. And, um, there really hadn't ever been another language that, that, got me excited and learning Norwegian has been exciting to me. Um, and also led me to visit, uh, last year, as you all know. Um, I mean, that was huge for me to be traveling internationally by myself. <laughs> um, and I just did it, you know, I went and I, I tried to keep it as easy and low key as possible. So I stayed in Oslo the entire time. Um, I definitely would like to, um, see a lot more of the country, but I would also like to see Oslo more. When I think about living in Norway, I think about living in Oslo. I'm definitely a city girl. Um, but I went for like 10 full days by myself and just wandered around the city and saw what I wanted to see when I wanted to see it. And, um, it was incredible. It was really impactful to me. Um, and yeah, her work has led me to imagining myself living in a whole other country um, this, this potential future that may be for me somewhere else, somewhere I never would have imagined, um, before. And, um, Yuli's work led me to this, to creating this, this YouTube channel that, um, was such a dream for me. And, um, yeah, it means a lot to me. It's, it's my main creative outlet right now in my life. Um, which I think if I didn't, if I wasn't able to create in some kind of way, like I, oh, I would not be handling things very well. <laughs> I just, I need to, I need to have some kind of creative outlet. And, um, I'm also a storyteller and I believe in the power of, um, vulnerability and authenticity and sharing our stories, um, fully with each other. And so this allows me to do that. And the thought that, you know, not only I know that that impacts me as I tell my story, but the thought that it could be impacting somebody else or some other people out there in a positive way is really exciting for me. Um, you know, the thought that me talking about my life might make somebody else feel seen and understood um, and feel less alone is amazing is, I mean, everything really. Um, so this is one of my favorite parts of my life, getting to talk to you and, um, and I'm doing this in a huge part because of Yuli and, um, the world that she created in the show of SCOM and, um, this whole other world that she brought to my attention in Norway. Um, I'm so grateful for that. It really has been in a really real and not cheesy way, life changing for me. Her work has been life changing for me. And, um, I'm just really excited to see, you know, what else she creates. Um, yeah, 
it's really exciting to me when I think about, you know, what other stories she has in her to tell. And um, as I live so much of my life in, you know, fantasy land and daydreaming, you know, I can't help but imagine, you know, maybe someday our, our work might intertwine. You know, how great would that be if, you know, through her incredible storytelling and, you know, through me maybe living in Norway someday and, and my passion for storytelling, maybe our paths will cross. Um, and I would love that. Like that, I, I cannot think of words big enough to explain how amazing <laughs> that would be, how exciting that would be for me. Um, so yeah, if you have not um, checked out SCOM at all, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you want to look into Norway, I also recommend it. If you want to learn Norwegian and speak with me, oh, I would love that. Um, but yeah, check out Yuliandum and her work because um, she is uh, amazing. Um, yeah, so that's that for now. I am not entirely sure what I will be doing next. I might continue this series or um, as more people come to mind, but I'm also thinking maybe my next video will be starting one of the other two series that I have in mind. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'll be back with you soon, whatever it is that I end up talking about. And um, thanks for spending your time with me. And as always, until next time, hada.